Yeah, so how long? This has been like a couple weeks. I have been like this for six weeks. It sucks. It sucks. I want to kill myself. Yeah. Um, we were saying where you come in here, you're just like bedridden. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Someone has to turn you yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wash my folds, my thigh <laughs> folds. <laughs> Somebody's going to come with a power washer and just hose you down. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get done with the garage. Take it to fucking Stoff's Gooch. <laughs> like, I just become like the comedian, like handyman. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. Are we going? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Home Depot podcast. Uh, this is the show where we talk about going to Home Depot, baby. Um,. Oh, we got yeah. Stav here today. We're live from Stav's Depression Cave. What's up? <laughs> and, um, That's right. I got a torn fucking uh, plantar fascia tendon in the bottom of my left foot, and I am bedridden, and uh, I'm recovering from... I took... I was on the road for the first time, and it's literally like... It's taken me two days to recover from just like walking and shit. I got to tell you, we were walking in here, and I was like... I, like, I, I imagined it being a lot worse. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. I'm on the up and up. I mean, if you would have caught me the first couple of weeks, it was brutal. I mean, yeah. now I can put a little weight on it. Like, I was walking with a crutch. You saw me. But I was walking. I got a walking boot on. Yeah. Before, it was literally like I could not. If I touched the floor, no. it's excruciating yeah. pain. Jesus. Yeah. That happened to me. I was like, I took my road test when I was 17, and I was like practicing because I, I just wanted to drive so bad. I had my car and everything. Oh, hell I had yeah. A, I had a Saturn, 96 Beautiful. Saturn. Nice. What kind Saturn? Uh, like an SL1. That okay. little, that plastic uh, yeah, sedan yeah, yeah. that if it crashed, I'd be dead. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, <laughs> But like this, so I had this like obese, like driving instructor and he's like breathing like real heavily. And then I like, I went to parallel park and I, and, uh, he's like, all right, well let's go inside. And he like, he goes inside and he's writing. And then I'm like, all right, yeah. All right. Going to get my license. And then, uh, he writes an F in the corner of the yeah. thing. And I'm like, oh, I wonder what that F is. Yeah. <laughs> then, uh, he's like parallel park and you're still about that far from the curb. So Go over here and schedule a retest. And wow. I'm like, wow. Oh, yeah. And then I went home and I kicked a cooler on my uh, porch because I was mad. Really? Yeah, and then oh, I, couldn't, no. I couldn't walk for a few days. That's okay. hilarious. Yeah. Oh, a few days. Yeah. Well, you know, this has been a debilitating six weeks, for, Mike. Six very, weeks, yeah. It's plunged me into a deep depression, <laughs> but... Yeah. Your anger problems sound like, <laughs> like yeah. 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 Like your dumb wop ass couldn't t- parallel <laughs> park, even though the only thing you've been dreaming of since you were a four year old kid was fucking getting the, the drive to the porn yeah. store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> drive to the porn store. Uh, pay some old bitch to suck you off. <laughs> I'm like, mommy, let's go to the pork store. She's like, I already took you twice today. I'm like, oh, you pork. fucking dumb bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do what Come I tell on. you to do. <laughs> Fuck you. You whore. <laughs> you fucking whore. <laughs> Your first words were whore. <laughs> 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 um, I was telling Matt, do, do you have headphones? Yeah. For me? Yeah. All right. I was telling Matt before this, I, I had a good shopping experience at Whole Foods the other day because I, I got the uh, I got the retarded cashier. Nice. And it was just so much better than everybody yeah, else. Yeah, no frills. That, yeah. Do they make small talk? Yeah, he asked me like what kind of tomatoes I was buying. That's and fun. Yeah, he's like, are these uh, plum or romas? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, they're plum, and he's like, they're the same thing. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, because usually when you go to Whole Foods, it's like and everyone's underpaid there. Yeah, and it's, are they? It's I like, thought Whole Foods was good, or maybe that's Trader Joe's. Might be Trader Joe's. Okay, but even Trader Joe's is like what? It's probably like fourteen an hour or something. Yeah, because back in the sure. day it was like eleven. Right. Which was like, oh, eleven dollars an hour. Like it's not minimum wage, but it's still kinda Maybe right. it's that's shit. shit. Yeah. yeah. Find a fucking racket, everybody. If you're a young <laughs> kid listening, mm-hmm. find some kind of scam. Because, Insurance uh, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Credit card fraud, fraud. seems kind of easy. Yeah. Fraud is probably you want to stay with fraud. Nothing violent. Yeah. Right. You're stealing from major mm-hmm. corporations. It doesn't even yeah. really it yeah. doesn't register. They all have a fraud budget. They all have a shoplifting budget. Right. You know? So steal. If you're out there, you're a young child, just get good at stealing. Or if you're thirty one. Yeah. Or if you're thirty one. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you're a comedian. It's not going the way you thought it would by this time in your life. <laughs> yeah. I've been going to Home Depot like every day and they have a loss prevention there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so you have to show them your your receipt on the way out. But I'm thinking, like, I should just buy a tote and put some stuff in the tote. Smart. And then put other stuff on top of it so here's, you can steal a little bit, right? Here, yeah, yeah, I like that. Here's here's another one for Home Depot. 
buy go in one day and buy uh go in one day early as shit in the morning maybe mm-hmm. okay let's say 9 a.m mm-hmm. buy like you know five hundred dollars worth of shit you need mm-hmm. right come back 9 p.m mm-hmm. fill up a cart with all the same shit mm-hmm. they see the fucking little receipt you show them that mm. you know oh what I mean? yeah 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 you know what i'm saying here boys yeah you know but it's got to be pretty on the nose. Got to be pretty on the nose, but I feel like, you but know. But now you just have two of what? everything. <laughs> Don't yeah, they, like, do, like, a military you return time? Them. You return them or something. On the receipts? Look, Matt, you know, <laughs> mm-hmm. we can figure out the, okay. the numbers. They're not going to look, look for the, the retarded cash cashiers. Numbers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> you pray to God, you get the retarded loss prevention <laughs> yeah. guy. I got you, yeah, And yeah. if he gives you any fuss, <laughs> you fucking drop a packet of nerds on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> he scatters to get them yeah. all in his he, mouth. And he's counting them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 400 nerds on the ground, yeah, yeah. And then you, you know, that's plan B. Yeah, sure. There's contingencies with everything. But I got you. Let me tell you something. Loss prevention people love nerds. It's a little known secret. <laughs> yeah, Mike Mike said he got that cashier earlier, but he like made it kind of seem like it was like a Down syndrome cashier, which are always the best employees mm-hmm. anywhere. You I, go. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but the thing is, like, you go to Whole Foods because I go to the one in uh, in Fort Greene. OK. And like the ca- the register is like super small. Right. Mm, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like you put all your stuff on and they're ringing them up, but they're leaving them there too. And like you're just terrified the whole time that some black lady's going to go, that does not go there, sir. <laughs> 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 sir, that does not go there. And you're like, oh, no, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. Because she's mad at you anyway. That's what you know? keeps you up at night, yeah. huh, Mike? <laughs> yeah. What? That's being what yelled at by a black lady? Yeah, 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 yeah. It hurts. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it happened to me recently at the Chicago airport, which I, okay. I've gone I've gone maybe 10 years. Oh, hair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've gone maybe 10 years without being yelled at by a black woman. Wow. What was the la- what was 10 years? What was a when decade I was, ago? When I was working at Caroline's and I worked the door and they would always overbook the show. Of course. And then I would have to turn people away. <laughs> oh, uh, hell yeah. It was, so I turned, oh, man. Aries Spears <laughs> yeah. weekend. You Dude, still remember yeah. that? No, it was, it, yeah. was, it was Cheryl Underwood. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Beautiful. Aries Spears in a, in a lace front, basically. <laughs> and when a, yeah, and it fucking... Dude, it fucking hurts when that yeah. happens, you know? Well, you that's not your fault, that though, but it still doesn't matter. It still stinks as if it was your fault. I had to turn away like, I'm here to see Cheryl Underwood. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and I'm like, all right, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll get the manager. And then he like wouldn't come out because he was like, of course. scared. She's like, of course. She's like, I see your manager down there. He won't even show his face because he ain't even a fucking man. <laughs> I just Hilarious. remember this lady's like yeah. pure rage. And I, I wanted to be like, ma'am, I think I could sneak you in or yeah. something, you know? That's get great. Through that's, the kitchen. How, that's how good she is at fucking uh, emasculating people. It's like, it wasn't enough to get you. It's also your super Supervisor. Yeah, She's yeah, emasculating yeah, yeah. the yeah. people above you. She's like, show me a picture of your father. Let me talk to Jeff Bezos right now. <laughs> he just makes Jeff Bezos quit. <laughs> that like, is true. That's like, how I'm we take down up. Amazon. With an army full women. of annoyed black women. <laughs> an army full of women, black women. You tell a black woman you won't validate her parking and then tell her Jeff Bezos is the one who made the decision. He's gone, dude. He'll He's show, out. Yeah. He'll show up in his office. Yeah. It's like, it's like, I thought we had security. He's like, oh, I don't know if she yelled at me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Dude, like Mike's like sneaking in like yeah. 20 to 50 like really yeah. strong black women. I just yeah. get a van. Yeah, yep. like we're going to take them. We're going to take them down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> you t- you get a van, you say free rides to Tyler Perry presents something on ice, right? Jesus. Medea on ice. Yeah. <laughs> the ice base, and then, sorry, oh, nice. ladies. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't honor my picture. Change your plans. We're going to Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> Road trip. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got some here. Yeah. We're teaming with business ideas. Coming so far to theaters. Yeah. He's a petty guy with nothing else to do and a hundred dollars lying around. <laughs> <laughs> there are fifteen black women <laughs> who also their coupon didn't work either. Yeah. Um, but but so uh, so yeah, that was like that was the last time. And then recently, mm. so my so uncle so works for yeah, I'm in Chicago. My uncle works for United Airlines. He works at United. United Club, which is like nice. the, the elite, you know, lounge. And he always sends me United Club uh, passes. Cool. Yeah. So I just go in, you yeah. know, everyone knows I don't belong there. I'm wearing like of a course. velour track suit, <laughs> yeah, you know, and people course. are looking at me like, who's this? Uh-huh. But, you know, just, you go in, you eat the soup. <laughs> they I've, have, been, they I've a- been with richer friends of mine. When yeah. I opened for Bobby, he would take me to the Delta Lounge sometimes, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the American Express Lounge, but I... I'm back out of those though now. I'm not. Where's the American Express Lounge? I don't remember where it was and what air- airport it was, but maybe okay. maybe it was LaGuardia or maybe it was JFK. I don't remember. Is it nice? Okay. 
It was really fucking well, It's wow. nice, but it's like, it's it's just kind of a glorified I mean, it's airport room. nice. Like, yeah, you it's know, airport nothing nice. Nothing can really be nice in I've, Because the Delta Lounge is like, it's like 70,000 miles, which I, I haven't even accumulated that. Right. In my, uh, so I can't imagine using that for a year to like go to a, you know. Oh, really? You have room. to use 70,000 miles to pay for it? Well, you can pay for it in miles. Gotcha, it's like 70,000 gotcha, gotcha, miles, gotcha. or it's like 700 bucks for the year. So okay. it's just for people who it's gotta feel throw nice their money away. to have a nicer time than everyone else, though. Yeah, I mean, you it's know? probably all business people. You know what I mean? The motherfuckers it's are racking those yeah. miles up like mm-hmm. crazy. It's like yeah, paying for a nice yeah, yeah. gym. Yeah. I would like to be a nice out. gym guy if I ever get back on my feet. I dream about that. Yeah, they're never in good shape, though, the nice gym guys. Huh? The, the, I, like, I, I tweeted about this, but like they're never in, the, like the guys at the nice gym don't never are never like jacked. Yeah, the most jacked guys like do pull ups on like scaffolding. Right, 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 right. The okay. shittier the gym, the better. You're right. Yeah, and the the worst they the just do push ups on your car. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> worst like, the oh, outfit me, you're in. <laughs> right, right. You know what I mean? Like if some yeah. guy's in jeans and fucking boots, <laughs> should, that yeah, guy's yeah, yeah. so much stronger. He should, he should be a consultant. Yeah, yeah. Than the guy in Lululemon. You know what I mean? That guy is not uh, right. fucking doing shit. But right. I don't need to be in shape, dude. I just want that. Lemon water. I want some fucking aloe yeah. vera on oh, my yeah, fucking yeah, cheeks. Yeah. Nice lockers. Saying? Oh, me and Gomez went to the Equinox. We just sat in the steam room. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Wow. They probably put lavender in that steam room <laughs> or some kind of Something, herb or yeah. some shit. Yeah. 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 Sweat it out, you know. So she yelled at you at the United so Lounge? So she's like, so my uncle would send me passes and like they're not working. So like I go and I'm like, I'm like, here's my pass. She's like, oh, it doesn't work. I'm like, all right, never mind. I, I, you know, I walk out. I text him. I'm like, yeah, the pass isn't working. He's like, all right, I, yeah, just give me a second. And he like sends me another one. I go, and that's not working. And then I, the third one's not working. And then like the lady's like, who gave you these passes? And I'm like, uh, uh well, uh, my yeah. uncle sent one to me. And yeah. she's like, you snitch right away. You sing like uh, a bird right away. <laughs> but I don't, I, I don't know what else I was supposed no, to do. Because I, I was I there four yeah, times yeah. already. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Trying to get this fucking pass yeah. to work. And she, yeah. you know, smells it on me probably. Of I don't course. belong there. And she's like, well, he can't be doing that because he could get fired. She's like, I'm not going to say anything. But like, yeah. she was like mad at me. Right. You know? And it just like, it just, also like, it just stings. Yeah. It's just like, lady, come on. Right, man, just wants some fucking soup. Right, you know I mean? right. Yeah, take some, have some empathy. For right, this fucking yeah. right. Poor motherfucker, <laughs> this mover. You know, <laughs> this poor mover yeah. seeking refuge. Yeah, in yeah your she lounge. could literally really? let you walk yeah. by. <laughs> she could. I just want a fucking cup of clam chowder, yeah. and uh, and I want. I need potassium. I need those little fuck. I need that fruit bowl. Let me get some bananas for the road. And I want to look at my big fat asses on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with your <laughs> Wi-Fi. <laughs> 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 it just gets worse. I don't know. These work. asses are too big. <laughs> the bandwidth on my. Plan. <laughs> the asses I want to look I at. I can't see the asses from the waiting room. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let me see the asses. Sorry, brother. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, what are you going to do? But anyway, we're talking about, uh, a, uh, I think, a real crime family today. You know? Mm-hmm. The big, the biggest, the biggest one, if yeah, you, might, the, you might say. Mm-hmm. The, the most heinous criminals to come out of Italy ever. <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, saying a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, today we're talking about the Catholic Church and that um, story that was in the news where all those uh, kids. Yeah. And I was thinking about this, like, it's almost like hacky to make that joke. Like, oh, you were an altar boy. Did you get, you know, did you get fucked? It's such a, it's such a overdone thing. Right. But, but like. Statistically you, though. Yeah. <laughs> what? You know what I mean? Like you do have to ask, I feel like. Now like, it's just a regular boy? Yeah. Do you know what question. I mean? It's like, it's yeah. like, it is hack, but it's like running the numbers. It's like, yeah, you should ask. They pro- you probably know someone who got molested by a priest. If or they're something. Catholic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't know any like altar boys. Like I, I was in a Catholic church and everybody that I knew like went to CC. We all went to the same church. Um, but nobody was like that into it. We were all like, this fucking sucks. And we get donuts afterwards. Right. So, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. See, Classic. I grew up in the Greek Orthodox church, uh-huh. which ver- did a brilliant maneuver to stop Child fucking <laughs> by allowing priests <laughs> to fuck. <laughs> That's the thing. Like ca- right. the Catholic Church, no one can fuck. So yeah. probably you know guys with fucked up weird sexual urges will get into the priesthood because they're like, oh, God will cure me of this. I'll never be allowed to fuck. Yeah. But Greek priests are just like, hey, just come on, Greek guys <laughs> yeah. that just fuck old, one old lady. You're allowed to fuck. A, you're allowed to have a wife uh-huh. yeah. and yeah. fuck her, obviously. Yeah, and. uh Unless you want to go up into the like, unless you're ambitious and you want to become like a bishop or some shit, uh-huh. those guys those they guys save their fuck. boy pussy for Christ. <laughs> but everybody else has a wife, <laughs> yeah, and sure. you can do whatever right. the fuck you want. Okay. So there's very few. Nice. Now I'm sure 
If anything, I bet you if there was ever like a Greek priest scandal, it would be like a 15 year old girl with big tits that they mm. fuck. You know what I mean? That they tried okay. to fuck, but didn't have the game to. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Maria. <Murray, yeah, laughs> it wasn't even yeah. sex. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But, you know, but I was an altar boy in the Greek Orthodox. I was, but it was you just. Were? Yeah. I it was, yeah. I was like. Because I was kind of like a nerd growing up where I wanted like to achieve a bunch of shit. Yeah. But also, it was more fun than being in church. Uh-huh. What started it was Easter, like Holy Week, was so fucking boring. Yeah. The church services were long as fuck, and my parents made me go to all of them. And if you were an altar boy, you could just be in the altar and fuck around with your friends mm-hmm. instead of sitting through all that dumb bullshit. Oh, okay. So that's sort of what also what, what like dro- okay. drove it, because it was like, oh, I don't have to fucking... You know, yeah, just sit there silently in a suit. Yeah, did you have that? Did you have like the long church service? Because we're Catholic, and like I, so I've been to two Catholic weddings when my mm-hmm. cousins got married, and my one cousin is like super, super. Um, his parents are super Catholic. His mom is super Catholic. He's actually adopted, but they never like my family never acknowledged it. <laughs> That's funny. Actually, everybody else acknowledged it except his parents and <laughs> That's him. That's so weird. So it's like weird. Like my mom went so to you, see. So what you mean is everyone else talked behind their back about the fact that he was adopted. Yeah, we yeah. all knew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so they knew. Because my aunt was married to a guy, and then my uncle adopted him when he oh. got, when he married my aunt. So oh, wait a second, wait a second. So he's not, he's not your aunt's kid? He's my, he's my aunt's kid. He's my aunt's biological kid. Gotcha. My gotcha. uncle was like his stepdad that adopted him. Well, it's not adopted, him. dude. That's, that's uh, But he wasn't kid. his biological father. Yeah, but it's still his mom. She was before. Adopted is like some kid you from fucking China or you know some fucking <laughs> yeah, trailer right. park that you pick up. That's just like that's just like his step. Like, you know They're what like, I mean? Hello, Mister yeah, Mrs. Blood. Johnson. Yeah. Uh, we're we're so happy that you've made the decision to adopt uh, a child. Um, <laughs> do you want one from China yeah, or a trailer yeah. park? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you two options in China <laughs> or trailer park. <laughs> Everyone picks China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Joel Kim Booster or Eli yeah. Uden? Those are your two choices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, is he adopted? Yeah, yeah you oh, know okay. that. Yeah, no. I yeah, know. what do you think? He's a big fucking redneck Giant looking Jew. guy that looks. That's his name is he does, Eli. He looks, like the all, he looks like he's all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Look those comedians up, guys. Also, Joel is Korean, not Chinese, but you know, it works in a pinch. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like I was just trying to make the joke. Was it racist? Sure. You should but pitch off it. the top of my head, I don't yeah. know any Chinese comedians you that were adopted. Pitch, you should pitch a show to a Lifetime channel called China or a Trailer Park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those are like two the, options. The, the TLC. Come yep. to TLC. China God damn or a Trailer Park. Three Chinese um, in a row? <laughs> yeah, a lot of Some guy looking for his son. <laughs> he keeps losing. He keeps getting Chinese. <laughs> no, uh, you can send it back. Yeah. You'll see, you can you'll see three chance. doors. Yeah. There's two doors in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> Choose wisely. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's anyway, fun. Catholic Church. Sorry, I keep derailing us here. No, you're not derailing us. No, that's <laughs> Matt didn't do any research again this week, so we just got to fill the time. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't even but, know about this. I mean, I know, I know that it's happening because... The one way that I am familiar with it is that some guy got on from the Catholic Church who mm-hmm. said the numbers are inflated because if you don't penetrate a child, oh, yeah, that was, yeah, was Bill yeah, The definition yeah. of rape yeah. is incredible. <laughs> so insane. That, that is guy's a fucking like, psychopath. We just sucked the kids off. <laughs> well, he's <laughs> is that, that big right. a deal. He's Put like, his little dick in your mouth. That's didn't count you towards the I mean? official count. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have I have that quote on my phone. Fuck I God. didn't see it. The only reason I love it is because we, me and Nick, Nick Mullen, mm-hmm. who I do a podcast with, uh, we had a bit here. called, we did a rap called If It Ain't Penetration Ain't Illegal, yeah. Ain't Illegal Dog. And it's like we were just Where? doing a do child that? molester <laughs> rapper on our podcast, Come Down. Oh. But that's a bit that oh, okay. like we used to just do as friends for years before the podcast. If it ain't illegal, if it ain't penetration, ain't illegal dog. I'm going to take the diaper off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, <laughs> I'm going to set the diaper off. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> right. But it's just like the okay. Catholic Church. Is literally doing that. Like, yeah. they're like a bit that the dumbest fucking podcast of all time used to do. Something's but wrong with my uh, ear. I'm getting like a ringing or something. Oh. I'm getting a buzz. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Sorry. <coughs> if Thank it ain't you. penetration, ain't illegal, dog. 
And yeah, the Catholic Church is like, look. I'm going to take the diaper I'm off. I'm going to slip the diaper off. <laughs> 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 There's more, but I can't remember it. But. Bill Donahue's a cum boy. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, Well, I remember hearing about Bill Donahue when I was listening to Opie and Anthony like a few years ago, and he was like mad at Lucky Louie. He called the show like depraved or whatever, but of he course. never watched the show. Yeah. Hmm. Um, they're all fucking, they're all fucking hypocrites. I was reading about yeah. this, uh, like one of the things the priests would do to show other priests that they're grooming a child was give them a golden necklace. Damn. So well, the priests would have like they would all know who to look who for. Who's blinged out? Yeah. What about a young yeah. aspiring rapper? It's <laughs> like a no <laughs> white <laughs> dude. <laughs> well, some nah, just little peep. <laughs> <laughs> That's why that guy was so fucked up. That's why little peep was so fucked yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> he would go to church, lots of chains, yeah. get fucking ran out by the deacons, <laughs> by the cardinals. <laughs> They would fuck his ass in their little red capes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a horrible institution. God damn. No, it's really funny because like we joke about this. We joke about pedophilia like constantly. Yeah, you yeah. Know? But but um but really like when you really like take a look because life is like really painful, you know. It's the worst. When sure. you really take an honest look about what's happening to these kids, like I was listening to a New York Times podcast, and this lady was like a, a someone who reported on religion for like twelve years or something, and she was like having trouble talking about what was happening. Jesus, Christ. she was like, it's just institutionalized abuse, and they all cover for each other, and. Um, she's like kids were being like whipped. There was like a baby as young as like eighteen months. What? Um, yeah. If Jesus any, but if any penetration. Yeah. yeah they oh these my priests God. abused like three sisters, and the youngest was like an eighteen month old um, what baby. The fuck? It's really yeah. just fucking. They have a playbook <laughs> too. It's really called evil. Yeah. They had a playbook? Yeah. Well, let's get into that in a minute, but let's talk about Bill Donahue. All right, let's let's um, talk about Big Bill. <laughs> Big old... <laughs> so he, did so, he fuck kids, or is he just a spokesman? I mean, look at <laughs> I him. I mean, probably. Yeah. It's probably like to get in the game, like when you make your bones in the mafia, yeah, to be yeah, a priest, yeah, yeah. it's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. you gotta, I fucking, I buried my bone today. <laughs> it's like the first night. <laughs> You'll always remember the first kid you suck off <laughs> <laughs> with incense on in the background a little. <laughs> <laughs> this guy looks wound up. Though you know, I don't know if you've yeah, no, seen, seen him or heard him. But, yeah, yeah. But um, but I remember like so he like he called in the Opie and Anthony show and um, Louis C.K. the greatest comic of all time who you know <laughs> never did anything wrong um, was talking about Have his you been, show. Uh, looking at, uh, keeping up with the news there, Mike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. 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 But, Louis uh, was on there, right? Yeah. On uh, what 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 what? Uh, well, I was talking to Tim Dillon and that he was like, "Are you telling me that if Louis C.K. wants to do a week at the Creek, Rebecca's not supposed to say yes? <laughs> <laughs> People understand business." <laughs> hey, listen, yeah, it's capitalism. Yeah. Um, what were they saying though? Um, so so he was like, Louis was like, "You didn't even see the show," and he was like, "Well, let me ask you this: if I if I told you about an exhibit where a guy performs oral sex on a statue of Martin Luther King, do you have to see it to know that that's obscene?" And they were like, "Where did that come from?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's always like that's it. pretty good creatively, though. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. Also, does yeah. the statue have yeah. a hard dick? Yeah, that's a good <laughs> marble hard cock. <laughs> they make him okay. This was a veiny ass. Hard yeah. cock coming out of his pants. Yeah. He's like, How long am I supposed to make it? I can yeah, only yeah, make yeah. it shorter. It's especially hard. And yeah, like, does he have pants or is well, it just poking right. out of the Maybe yeah. it's not, maybe we're thinking, we're obviously thinking it's for some kind of civil rights exhibit, mm-hmm. but it also could be a museum of famous adulterers. You know right. what I mean? Where he's got right, his dick right, out. Because right. my man put up yeah. some numbers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the thing we don't talk about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My man fucking put it's up. Just Martin Martin while Coretta was home knitting, Martin Luther King was blowing off some Steam, dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, just Martin Luther King, Tiger Woods, uh, yeah. Robert Blake, yeah. like the, Kobe Bryant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I'm sure there's white adulterers too. Yeah, I, just, yeah, I feel yeah. like sure. off the dome, Clinton, I couldn't think of any. Clinton, right? Bill Clinton, yeah. He would definitely be there. Uh, JFK, who are we kidding? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mostly presidents uh, so far. Mostly presidents, right? Yeah. Although, I don't think Obama, I don't. I don't think Obama probably cheated on the See, show. he doesn't feel I mean, like a guy who cheats, but all those yeah. guys, everyone, everyone who becomes president is like a bad person. Yeah, yeah. You can't be that much of an egomaniac to think you deserve right. to control the fucking world and not be bad. Yeah. But I think Obama's just like, but it doesn't feel like he cheats on his wife. I know it doesn't, but <laughs> maybe maybe they hide it or something. I don't know. Maybe yeah, we don't really well, know the guy. Also, agreement, I don't know. Also, he was, I, I was listening to some story where it's like, he was dating some white lady and it was like going good and he was like, Look, I'm getting into politics. I'm half 
I'm only half black. <laughs> like he was trying to win in Chicago. He's yeah, like, I'm only yeah. half black. Yeah. It's the optics are not good for us to stay. And he like broke up. This lady claims he broke up with her basically because she was white and he needed. And I'm not saying he doesn't love his wife, but it's yeah. like that's that's the kind of sociopaths we're talking about. People right. that like make those decisions. Yeah. I think he really does love his wife yeah. for real. But also, well, maybe he just didn't want to date someone who's going to hell. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Wanna... <laughs> they, or they maybe maybe he tried to say like a non-descript reason and then she kept pushing yeah, maybe for that it. And then he was pushing for it. He was like, damn, I don't know how to tell her her pussy is just her her pussy garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to make this about politics, but there is no traction. It smells like a dump, <laughs> no matter how much she keeps up with it. Oh, so I'm just going to tell her I'm breaking up with her because she's white. <laughs> <laughs> he just start with breaking up. He's like, he's like, all right, uh, don't don't say it's because her pussy stinks. <laughs> don't say it's because her her vagina smells like a bag of garbage. Uh, come on, you could do this, Brock. Just you gotta think of a good excuse. <laughs> uh, your wife. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, you think that guy would have been president with a white wife, half black with a white wife? No, no he wouldn't, he wouldn't have won in Chicago, probably, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, I mean, it was a good move. Him and yeah. Michelle are great together. She's the smartest great shit. To, yeah. Most yeah. educated uh, first lady in history, by the way. Yep. You racists listening. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, don't stop listening to the show, but. Yeah, yeah, the, just letting you come know. Come on, be better, guys. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was a, some. Did you see that Ben Garrison cartoon that was like uh, uh, Michelle Obama and Melania? And they were like, finally, some class coming back to the yeah, White House. Yeah, yeah. And someone shared it being like, look at this fucking piece of trash. And then, like, there's this comic from Jersey, Ray Burrito, who like shared it honestly. He's like, yup. <laughs> I've been saying it <laughs> the whole time. Finally, we finally. got a beautiful broad. A beautiful first lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's beautiful. B Y O O T. B B A B E A T I F U L. Beautiful. <laughs> One like. Yeah. No, yeah, nah, no, nah, that did numbers on Jersey Rays. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> believe me. That's the sad thing, though. Some of those Jersey comics they are such like nice people, and then you'll go on their Facebook, and they're like, "Yeah, I'm wearing my ice hat. Wonder if anybody's yeah. gonna have a fucking problem. Wonder if the snowflakes gonna have a problem with it." <laughs> Take that. That. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, <laughs> it's so called here's freedom of speech. <laughs> So here's Bill Donahue responds to Catholic abuse allegations. Unlike most commentators and reporters, I have read uh, most of the Pennsylvania grand jury report. The purpose of this statement is to debunk many of the myths and indeed lies that mar the report and or interpretations of it. So there was a grand jury investigation in Pennsylvania that, you know, indicted. Indicted? Is that even the right word? What do I find? I what know. am I doing here? But um, the results. Yeah, it, it implicated uh, you know, th- uh, three hundred three hundred priests, a thousand kids, which, like you said, off mic. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. think the numbers would be a little well, better? Yeah, and, and, I gotta say, and it's over the that last just means seventy that, years too. But that yeah. just means that a bunch of kids got raped a lot. That's true. You're right. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. It was. It's not one night stands. Probably you're probably yeah. investing in that kid. The other sad thing, threatening them, you know what I mean, breaking them morally so they won't you have to break break them them philosophically so they won't snitch on you, right? Damn, dude, that sucks. I mean, what are you gonna do? You're gonna it's it's your word against God's. (laughs) (laughs) Your words against God. Me and God are friends. God doesn't even know know you. You tell John Lennon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, suck my cock, (laughs) (laughs) or I'll tell all your parents to go to hell. Hey, Hey, nice. If Wait, I'm sorry. Is John Lennon me. is John Lennon God in this, or he's no, the no, priest? No, no, no. He's he's the priest telling him because he's a priest. <laughs> he kn- he'll tell him that his parents are going to hell. Okay. So go you ahead, go gotta ahead, blow me, <laughs> eat my ass, <laughs> put some. <laughs> I'm gonna put a wafer in my ass. <laughs> yeah, you know, here's how we're doing community today. There's a wafer somewhere on my body, <laughs> and you gotta find it using only your mouth. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It's under my balls. <laughs> Dude, I, I love I love being a journalist. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Can we just stop for a second? <laughs> 
<laughs> no, Matt, we gotta keep it. Uh, yeah, man. All right. We, why do you need to uncover, stop. To uncover hey, Matt, the truth? Hey, Matt, I'm does, sorry. I hey, want to acknowledge me. that goal. No, no, shut, no, excuse me. Does Wayne Brady tell Ryan Styles to stop when they're in the middle of the grave? I'm the, I'm the buzzer. In that yeah. yeah, you're Drew Carey. <laughs> just swiveling around in his Fucking chair. Fucking laughing at everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ah, I wish I could do it. Uh, I wish I could, I could do impressions of <laughs> oh, John other Beatles. It's the John easiest way. <laughs> oh yeah, other oh, Beatles. Bo- oh, he's in Ringo. Ringo. Yeah, I think oh. they all sound the same. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, that sa- that might have been more of a Ringo. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. It, look, either way, there's, it's a Beatle that's the priest, and <laughs> he's maybe a child. Very <laughs> creatively. Mike, I Mike, Mike, <laughs> Mike gets very. I'm detailed. kind of a stickler. Yeah, yeah. 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 sorry about that. He's got a certain type of autism. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the purpose of this statement is to debunk, this is Bill Donahue, the purpose mm-hmm. of the statement is to debunk many of the myths and indeed lies that mar the report and or interpretations of it. Okay, so he's awesome. listing the myths and the facts. Myth, over 300 priests were found guilty of preying on youngsters in Pennsylvania. Fact, no one was found guilty of anything. <laughs> Yet nice. that didn't stop CBS from saying 300, quote, predator priests abused more than 1,000 children over a period of 70 years. That's the other thing, too. Some of these reports go back like 70 years, yeah. and it's really Sad to me to see these like old, vi- old Irish working class man. victims of molestation. They have to go down to like the fucking Applebee's and get probably get made yeah. fun of. Like, totally. And also like like imagine. I mean, that's the other thing that we don't, like. And these guys have probably like folded all in these weird feelings into homophobia. Mm-hmm. So it's like these priests are yeah. not only like molesting a generation of like kids, but they're mm-hmm. also like probably making them fucking homophobic. Yeah, like, I knew, the kids they're molesting. Yeah, I yeah. knew a kid who got molested, and he really did not like gay people. And it was like, <laughs> it was like, well, they don't all molest you. Yeah, yeah. I know. Well, yeah. He didn't know that. Yeah, he was yeah. very dumb. But yeah. it was, but it's the thing where you just you just do whatever you and you know you do whatever. He's got to hang yeah. out with Mateo a for lot of a weekend. Yeah. Exactly. And then Mateo. <laughs> Molest, so yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I couldn't oh, help myself. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Mateo, but not fucking. Uh, oh fuck, I'm, I'm blanking on his name. The fat Turkish one. Oh, Mayron. Yeah, yeah, Mateo, but not Mayron, who will molest you. Yeah. Um, That's what I was saying. He's Iranian. I, I was on his oh, show yeah, last yeah. night. I was saying, like, remember when the host, uh, when the president of Iran said, "There's no gay people in Iran." Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. He just sent them all over here to bother comics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sexually harass you. Yeah. Um, although I will say, dude, it was the way we found out this guy was molested. It was like it was he was a weird. He was an exchange student from. Uh, uh, Europe. I won't say what country. I don't mm-hmm. know why I'm being so vague. But anyway, <laughs> he was an exchange student. And he was co- and he came over, and he was like a pretty liberal guy overall. Um, and he was like, "Yeah, I don't like gay people." And we were like, "That was really weird." It was me, mm-hmm. my friend, and his like completely socially like inept girlfriend. Yeah. And the guy was like, te- and she was like, and so she's like in college. She's like an SJ. You know, she's like, oh, I'm. Yeah. A, she's a vegetarian. He's like. But yeah. a fucking idiot. And she's yeah. like, oh, I'm going to press this guy. No one is allowed to be homophobic. Which, by the way, this is some wimp foreign exchange student. You're not yeah. doing anything. There's clearly something going on here. Yeah. And she's like, why? Why don't you like him? And he's just like tearing up. He's like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> and we're all like, Kelly, shut the fuck up. Clearly, like, we're yeah. all like putting, doing the math here. And it's like, and she's like, what? And he's just like, and this motherfucker's like, oh, I got molested. He just says he got molested. Mm. And everyone's like, like record yeah, scratch. Yeah. And we're like, all right, well, I guess we're all going to go to this party. And we leave and we just find him that night. We come back. He's drunk as shit. He's got a hammer. And he's just crying and breaking the remote control. Oh, in the boy. Fucking, no. In the and, that, and, and fucking. I'm glad he wasn't murdering that girl yeah, yeah, with yeah, that, that hammer. Yeah, that, some nosy ass bitch. Yeah, yeah, fucking, yeah, bring all that up. Yeah, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that was my remote, this? by the way. <laughs> no. So now oh, my really? TV doesn't have a fucking remote. Mm-hmm. Fucking bitch! That's the, I'm yeah. the real fucking. Yeah. I'm the, no, not this one. This is oh, from college. Okay. I'm gonna press. Why don't you mind your business? Yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It was a uh, that was a horrible time though. But yeah, I think yeah. anyway. That was just my point that you know that's probably a big factor in homophobia yeah. in some of these like very molested places. Yeah, uh-huh. probably the most vulnerable coming out in the worst spot. With this SJW girl, just oh yeah, fucking yeah. pressing you. He, yeah, you're saying he got molested. Like, well, what, but so I mean, that I sounds mean like the, the beginning like, of a movie. So what you have to do is like, you're like, guys, you know, was what was the kid's name? Let's say his name was Dave. Dave, you're like, Dave think, hates gay people because he got molested by one, but. Maybe we should find a woman but to no, molest him. But no, he did him. get... Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, he did get molested by a gay guy. He got molested by a child molester. We, we right, should be, right, We right. should be like... Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty clear Matt, with that. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. you were a uh, stickler for details. Yeah. Can you make that the episode description that gay guys are not child molesters? Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> Out of context, it just seems more like fuck. It implicates them more. <laughs> yeah, it's like what um, do we know before? So what's Bill? Yeah. What else is Big Bill talking so about? So Big Bill is saying that uh, he's yeah, saying seventy years. Jesus. The Christ. report and CBS are also wrong to say that all of the accused are priests. In fact, some were brothers, some were deacons, and some were seminarians. Okay, what the fuck are we? What is the difference there? They're all like <laughs> no, they're the being leaders. dishonest. Yeah. That's, uh, they're all bad. the priest. They're all the church somehow. Yeah, a deacon was just a guy who like wasn't committed to being a priest. Yeah, because we had because in our church we had like we had like the we had Father Paul who was kind of like the head of the he was like this right. tall Italian guy, um, kind of charismatic. But my parents didn't like him because he bought new doors for the <laughs> church, and it was what too showy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, stop showing off. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, goddamn. It's so funny. Like yeah. something like that could piss off your parents. Yeah. yeah, this is a church, not a Broadway production of Hair. You fucking wop. <laughs> Where do you think we are? <laughs> the, the community theater. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so a deacon was just somebody who's not who was like could get married or whatever. But still, they're still in the vo- in the mix with the church. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? That's like my dad is still in the mix with the church. He still goes every week, right. nine o'clock mass every Sunday. Goes right. and sits. And I'm like, I don't know, it's just weird. Like, I, every once in a while, I'll go back to church, and I'm like, why are any of us here? I know. What does this do for anybody? Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's just like such an antiquated thing. It's like, yeah, I get why yeah. people went to church when there's nothing to do. Yeah. When the, when the option was go to the fucking... Do put in another twelve hour day in the onion fields yeah, for right, some right, lord, right. or just right. go to church <laughs> and hear some gay guy talking <laughs> Latin for an hour. Fine, I'll take a break <laughs> and then get a little fucking chip afterwards. That sounds great. When my life sucks, I always, it always bummed me out that you couldn't find those communion wafers like in the store because yeah. they're like, I mean, they taste like styrofoam. I bet you like can find bad. them online. You think now you can probably? Oh, I bet you could. Yeah, you yeah. Can, find can you can you guys send us a box of communion wafers? <laughs> <laughs> send them to Stav. You could probably ready. have like uh, little uh, images put on them if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. You get Crazy. I get my nuts on some communion wafers. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Other people are eating my nuts. Some body. <laughs> yeah. like, break it. Like, Some poor kid got molested and he has to eat your nuts. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. If they still believe in God. But he goes, how many of the 300 were probably guilty? Maybe half. My reasoning? the Maybe half. <laughs> Which, by the way, that means 150 people <laughs> fuck kids. Yeah. Yeah. And you're just like, what's the big yeah. deal? <laughs> yeah. That is the figure everyone quotes, but the report also notes that roughly half the number were substantiated. If that is a reliable measure, the 300 figure drops to around 150. Okay, good. Okay, so Bill, Bill Donahue's like a guy, like a statistics guy on on Twitter. You know? Oh, is he? Like, no, he's like one of those guys. Oh, it's like, yeah, oh, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. T.J. Miller did not rape anyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, He's like, I want that Mucinex booger back on TV. <laughs> um, during the seven decades under investigation by the grand jury, there were over 5,000 priests serving in Pennsylvania. Therefore, the per- the percent of priests who had Incredible. an accusation made against them Incredible. is quite small, offering a much different picture than what the media afford. And remember, most of these accusations were never substantiated. I feel like people who nitpick like this about facts and statistics are are just are the worst. They're the worst people. Well, all right, nitpick. All, let's say if your statistic was like, Look, I ran the numbers. One priest. Yeah. Re- there's only one substantiated claim. But what he's saying yeah. is there's 150 know, claims of people that yeah. probably fucked kids. Yeah. And it's like, that's not that big a deal. Yeah. The best part is all these like, like Catholic. Lying about, yeah. Yeah. All these Catholic yeah. motherfuckers that like, yeah, see that. I wonder if they have different takes on black on black crime. I wonder if those statistics, I wonder if they if they nitpick those or maybe they uh, they take the word for it. They'll take someone's word for it on that, on those yeah. fucking statistics. Yeah, I'm sure he just he just takes whatever the Joe Rogan uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. fan group says. Um, yeah, and that's like a network. So they're all like working together to like, there's like a system, you know, you, like a like a business, you have a box guy, you know, yeah, recruiting yeah, yeah. and then yeah, like yeah. you have people who take care of customer service and, you know, like that's. Yeah, the, the whole operation. The front desk yeah, person going. at the getting molested Catholic center. <laughs> yeah. It's like, have a seat. Yeah, here's Father, your cucumber Father water. Father O'Hallahan will be with you in a minute. <laughs> here's some butt plugs to warm you up, maybe, and uh, have a cucumber water. Okay. Yeah. But, you know, I'm really glad we're reading this because you really see what a fucking scumbag this guy is. Oh, yeah. And it just makes you like... I don't know how people... I mean, I have to have a conversation with my dad, I guess, because I don't know how you could still be Catholic after yeah. this. Yeah. yeah, this is the president of the Catholic League. Who's oh, he this. is. Damn. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, Bill. This is Bill Donahue's yeah, 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 yeah. article. So he's been president of the Catholic League since he was like since like 1993. Holy shit. Um. Yeah. But so I don't know how people rationalize it. Yeah. You know? He should be fired. Right. But that's his yeah. job. His job is to fucking go to bat for the priest. It's just. That's so sad that that's so much. Yeah, he's job. like he's like the Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Yeah, of, uh, basically. The yeah, yeah. <laughs> just as hot too. By the way, just as sexy. <laughs> same so chin, beautiful. Yeah, same, <laughs> same body. Yeah. <laughs> they, just, they just morph into like a bag of a. Yeah, it's just um, a Halloween mask yeah. with a little band. Do you think he believes this stuff, or do you think he leaves his house and he's like, "All right, honey, I'm gonna go to work." I don't you know, know, man. I think you. I think you have to you believe have to, it right? yeah. to rationalize, because yeah. if he doesn't believe it, like then he's involved. Is he that? Mo- I mean, are these people that, that morally, morally corrupt? I guess. Yeah, I guess. Um, but I think he sort of convinces himself that it's not true. It's not that yeah. you know this guy's yeah. a good guy. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know yeah. all the same. This shit happened that's a like, while ago, guys. Yeah, that's what right. they've been saying. Yeah, because I was watching a clip of uh, Paul Ryan, who's like an evil guy. Yeah, you know? yeah. He was at this town hall meeting, and there was this lady who was a nun, and she was like. Don't you think that, uh, like, doesn't mm. the Catholic Church say that, you know, we should help the poor? Or she, 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 she right. was, Didn't Jesus say we should help the poor? And people clap. He's like, you're right. You know what? I agree with you. But, you know, the way we're going to help the poor is not by giving them handouts. It's by giving them jobs and giving right. them opportunities. Right, and like, right, right. like, so he's basically advocating for, you know, less yeah, less he, help for people because th- he thinks people need, mm-hmm. if you know, he thinks welfare, whatever, disincentive. Well, no, I don't think he thinks but, that. I think he just doesn't give a fuck and he's just, that's the like but he's but, story. but he must he unless he's like a complete psychopath he must believe that story a little bit where it's like if we just hand people money which not that that really helps anybody let's be honest but, i think uh, it do, i mean i think handing but, people money actually does just fucking help i think that's the thing that's helped people the most uh, you yeah just give people money like yeah. realistically it's the easiest it's the least like uh it's the least like people who need it yeah yeah exactly well yeah. there's the least like red tape you don't have mm-hmm. to figure out who need like jump through hoops to do it it's like here yeah. it's just take this money yeah and, this is power for life. you yeah yeah and most people like to want to work and be self-sufficient yeah too, yeah, anyway. yeah so I, I don't think it's like i don't think people are proud to be taking yeah free money but i'm but i'm just thinking like he must believe that story i feel like he feels it. like he's like kind of like an adult and this is like an allowance and like i'm gonna structure your life so you can climb out of it if you want yeah well like, i don't i don't think he necessarily believes it i don't think like you don't i don't think, think politi- i think politicians are bad people like, mm, for yeah. the most part i think yeah. they just they don't care about reality they just care about climbing the political ladder they just care about accumulating power yeah uh, or getting rich yeah. as um, you know a lot of them fucking do you either want to be rich or you want to be powerful or right. both most right, of right. the time mm-hmm. but, but like i hear like powerful people lie all the time and it just it just makes you wonder like do they believe it or do they know that they're lying? i don't think most of the time they believe it but i don't think even paul ryan's Th- like agenda of which is basically killing people and yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. you know make them starve. Die, yeah. Even that somehow that is and just making rich people richer. Yeah, that is less fucked up than covering up direct rapings no, of children. Right, <laughs> like, right, right. like it's yeah. like even or though it's rational, horrible and you should still yeah, not yeah. be able to live with yourself. Like yeah. yeah, and to do it in the name of a fucking religion is so that's so fucking crazy to me, dude. It's yeah. like this guy really is a true. He has to believe it or else he'd blow his brains out. I th- I think, think yeah. but yeah, who knows? But that was the thing for me. Like growing up Catholic, I just never I ne- and to this day I don't because I was talking about my aunt earlier, right? So my uh-huh. aunt is like super Catholic. Her, my cousin's adopted. We don't acknowledge it. Yeah. My mom one night she went to see um, Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood, mm-hmm. um, and she never gets out of the house. So she was she actually like came, like saw a movie and came home. And she was like, you know, you shouldn't keep secrets because they always they always come out. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you're yeah, you're right. And she's like, yeah, um, Uncle Brian is not Michael Sullivan's father. <laughs> wow, that's what did it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <it's just laughs> the secrets fucking... of the Yaya sisterhood. <laughs> Maybe we need to show Bill whatever the fuck his name uh, is. Secrets of movie. the Yaya sisterhood. Movie, you yeah. know, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, a, yeah Matt, the Catholic yeah. Church has admitted all fault yeah. in, in the raping, the systematic raping of thousands <laughs> yeah. of children for seventy years after a church wide screening of. <laughs> Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood. <laughs> <laughs> just that's playing the, it for Congress. That's the headline, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, but like, but I remember like my aunt and uncle like super conservative, and there was always she would go, there was a store in my neighborhood called the Cross and Shamrock, which they sold like Irish trinkets and like Catholic <sighs> trinkets. And I think she was like their only customer. I think Hilarious. she went there every day and just bought. That's so funny. Stuff. And there was always something like weirdly just like dark about their their house. Like I I didn't I never really liked being there. It always felt kind of cold and and you know. Yeah. And then she was always kind of like uptight. She didn't like, but she also like liked comedy. Interesting. She, yeah. she would watch Mad TV all the time. And like, <laughs> Hell yeah. we ran in Wayne's World 2 one time. And remember that scene where Mike Myers kicks the Japanese guy and his, his brass balls fall out? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> By the way, scene. back when comedy was good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> back, the back, when were, back when there were funny things in the yeah, world. Yeah. 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 Um, but uh, but I was like, what what happened there? I was like eight. I'm like, what were those? His balls? Yeah. And she was like, hey, stop it. <laughs> it's like, they were, bitch. We were laughing at them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. right. So, so, we're, so we're watching Mike Myers kick a guy and his balls fall out. Yeah. But we a can't, Japanese we guy. We can't talk about it. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Dude, we, should, we, should, we should end the show with that scene. That scene was so yeah. funny. <laughs> sure. I'm He's up. fighting his girlfriend's dad. He yeah, kicks yeah. him in the balls and the balls fall out. Yeah. Um, That's also a great scene because of just the the subtitle jokes. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. good stuff. Yeah. But I remember one time I was at her house and I found this like religious pamphlet and it was like a statue of like the Virgin Mary with like she was like crying blood, which mm-hmm. I guess there's some statues that do yeah, that. Yeah, people claim that yeah. And I'm like yeah. yeah. I just remember it just made me feel really like gross and weird and I was like what is this and she was like oh um uh, Mary's uh, sad at the abortions. Hilarious. So uh, that's why she that's cries. Why she she's that cry <laughs> totally yeah. cool with them fucking kids, by the way. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know how. I don't know how you rationalize it. Yeah, because like, yeah, like whether you're Greek Orthodox, or whether you're Protestant, like I would go to my friends' churches, and it was like kind of fun. It was like a guy in a sweater with a guitar. You know, right, like, right, 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 right. No, um, ours weren't fun, but yeah, yeah, like the non-denominational ones do seem kind of fun. Yeah, or they even just like, seem like the worst teachers. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the corny, cool teachers? Yeah. That's what, like, non denomination I went to a non denominational church. Yeah, church. yeah, that makes sense to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I got baptized when I was 13. <laughs> Hell yeah. So it wasn't like your a whole baby dick thing. is out. <laughs> they're, like, they're, like, they're like, Matt, time for your baptism. You just come out naked and shit. And like, what the fuck? You're supposed to be wearing he's a sweatshirt. He's holding him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you don't have to be naked, Matt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you wish. Um, no, they dunk you, though. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. pretty funny. Really? Yeah. I think we have to do another episode about this, about the Catholic Church, and just look into it, because I don't... Like, I think maybe back in the day, right, when people mm-hmm. were just, like, peasants, yeah, and they were, like... Or when people were, like, cave dwellers or whatever, and yeah, you, were yeah, just, yeah. you were just kind of out for survival, you were trying to fuck and eat and everything, <laughs> and there was, like... The church was, like, something better to go to. It was like, right. oh, it's nice, it's pretty in here, it's, like, better yeah. than, you know? Of course. So we don't have to act They're like animals. They're promising you... Eternity of good shit while yeah. your life sucks dick. Yeah, of right. Co- again, right, it makes sense to right. me. Right. Yeah, there's gonna be angels and stuff. Yeah, and, but like now it's yeah. pretty good. Life's good now. Life's pretty good for yeah. the most part. I mean, you know, I don't want to go somewhere better than this. This is fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd I like, get to go to Home Depot every day <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and yeah, yeah, buy yeah, wood. Yeah. <laughs> We're working out scams for Home Depot. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're fucking rounding up black ladies to fight our battles for us. <laughs> yeah. You know, we got to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, you got uh, your <laughs> communion stealing. wafer. Some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but recently, I was on the Jersey Transit, and my train. I got stuck. I got on the wrong train, and I had to get off. And I was looking for an outlet to charge my phone, and there was a little like behind a fence. There was a, like a piece of like nine eleven, like a exhibit, mm-hmm. and there was an outlet in there. Hell yeah! And I climbed over it to charge my phone. Beautiful. I got a nice little rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's beautiful, man. You know, you're yeah. respecting those fucking guys that jumped out of fucking floor fifty five and became pink mist. <laughs> they would want you to have a full fucking. They would want you to have a full fucking a phone, full dude. Battery. Those motherfuckers didn't become <laughs> hamburger for nothing for they? you to fucking not play doodle jump on your way home from Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Do they teach you that at the yeah. Nile? Yeah, that's in oh there. My God. <laughs> well, that's the thing. You fall from that height. You're not. That's like. Yeah, that sucks. You're not. Dick. Your body's. Your body's exploding 100 literally you're be, yeah you're exploding yeah, falling sucks. damage is on <laughs> damn yeah Damn, dude. I'm about to buy a parachute. If ever, Whenever I go on big-ass buildings, <laughs> if I ever work in a big-ass building, I am buying a parachute and keeping it in my fucking office. 
Some Just shitty. That is a great character to have in like that skyscraper movie. Some shitty movie. terrorist attacks. Some guy like, is afraid with a parachute. <laughs> no, but some like some like shitty terrorist attacks like five 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 Third Avenue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, uh, oh, good thing I have this parachute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, when I'm doing serious, no one's ever hijacking a plane again, though. Those guys. Yeah, they'll figure some other shit. It's not going to be buildings. I yeah. feel like I'm kind of shocked no one's like exploded a train yet. Yeah. That seems like <laughs> easy terrorist money. Maybe like terrorism is just hard. not a- You could just put a bomb. Like, I feel like we could get a bomb onto the subway easy. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. That, you just find a white that? kid. Uh, you just find a white kid on Task Rabbit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put your backpack on yeah. the thing. Yeah, they won't search it. Damn, true. Yeah, my <laughs> uncle one time he was like, "If I was a terrorist, I would just get a little plane and knock the head off the Statue of Liberty." <laughs> like, good. Yeah. If you really wanted to hurt Staten Island, <laughs> that's what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She was beautiful. Yeah. yeah, and you could crash in Yankee Stadium to get the Bronx. Yeah, dude. If you just get the Statue of Liberty, <laughs> fucking Yankee Stadium, wherever yeah. they uh, deny welfare check claims. <laughs> <laughs> the three most beautiful places for Staten Islanders. I liked how I was like afraid to joke about like uh, anything to do with like a bomb and like <laughs> New York. I was like, um, like there's a terrorist trying to yeah, get yeah, ideas yeah. from yeah, a fucking here's the way comedy we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna do Mike Racine's <laughs> podcast. <laughs> figure out how to fuck up New York. Yeah, I just feel like reading this makes me happy that I'm in an industry where there aren't any rapists like comedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so here's another part of Bill Donahue's report. <laughs> Myth: The report was warranted because of the ongoing crisis in the Catholic. Church church. Fact, there is no ongoing crisis. It's a total myth. In fact, there awesome. is no institution, private or public, that has less of a problem with the sexual abuse There's of minors no- today than the Catholic Church. Maybe he's, I don't know, maybe he's got a point. Maybe he goes to UCB. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're not that bad, guys. There's, yeah. he, he's like, no one, you know who rapes less? You know, no one, no one, no industry rapes less than the Catholic Church. <laughs> <laughs> Nurses right. don't rape don't right. rape children as much. Accountants right. rape yeah. more than you know what I mean? Like yeah. he's claiming every single Well that's industry. not true because there's some industries where there's no minors allowed, like a right. fucking steel mill. You right, know? Right, right. So you're sta- you're saying that like construction and like l- yeah. lumber yards, mm-hmm. there's not rape there because there's no ki- cause there's yeah. no kids there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're wrong. You're a liar. Sorry. Yeah. We got you, yeah. Bill. Got Dude, you, these, Bill. So like the the guy that's like defending the Catholic Church right now, like he would he would be the type of guy to like go after like if this was like Scientology, everybody would be like, Okay, we gotta take down Scientology. If it was like Muslims, they'd be like, No, you yeah. can't fucking do that. Yeah. But, but like Catholic Church seems like it can't go down. Yeah, I don't like, know. I know, I know what you mean. I feel like it's just too powerful. Yeah. And this is this is Nick. Nick Mullen has been on the Catholic Church controls the world. Like, that's his newest uh, obsession. And, I mean, they are really fucking powerful. I mean, they have been controlled. They, there is the, in the past, they did just straight up control the world. And, mm-hmm. you know, I bet they have so much influence still. Like, it's one of those things where they're so ingrained. Yeah. With they're so, much so powerful. I mean, like, I went to Italy two years ago, and we, the first place my uncle took us was to the Vatican. Yeah. And Deb couldn't, wasn't allowed in because her knees were showing. Awesome. Um, yeah, but, like, this you walk in, it's this fucking like gold. I'll show you pictures on my phone. I mean, it's like it's this gold palace where it, it's like, yeah, of course you would rape if if you lived here and you, <laughs> were, you controlled it. You yeah. think you were God? You're just trying to get away with everything bad that you can. Yeah, yeah. So you're yeah. saying it was like nicer than the nicest casino you've ever been in? Uh. Yes. Casino is it your was... standard for wealth, man. Right. Was, oh, man. Just like, like, for opulence. <laughs> <laughs> this place made Caesar's Palace look like the fucking old country buffet. <laughs> what's a, what's a lavish? What would you say is the lavish place? Fucking you know, know, man, but casino <laughs> suck dick. <laughs> Damn. You mean they had uh, bright ass red and blue carpet everywhere, <laughs> and there was old people betting their disability yeah. checks there? <laughs> oh man, it's like Bally's in here. <laughs> Excuse me, Monsignor. <laughs> you ever been to the showboat? Wow, look how they many tor- Koreans are here. Look how many elderly <laughs> Koreans are here. 
here. <laughs> don't, don't spook them. Yeah. <laughs> we we talk about that on one of our episodes. How it's like it's so intimidating going to like a gambling table when there's Asians there. Oh they, yeah, yeah. You feel like they're gonna like yeah snap if you take it. Um, if you play wrong. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, anyway, so so here's here's the. I mean, we don't have time to get to all this, but it's it's fucking. Yeah, you crazy. should definitely do like a third. This was a fun episode, but you should do a well, well do researched one with <laughs> yeah, someone yeah. who knows anything about this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. I barely know anything. We might talk to uh, Angela Nagel tomorrow. Yeah, that's good. She knows stuff, right? She, yeah, she's much smarter than I am. I think comedians ha- are intelligent people, though. You know? I guess, but look, man. Yeah. I don't have any facts about I have I've stopped reading. I'm just like I'm leaning into being yeah. stupid. Yeah. So I'm done with knowing shit. Yeah. So nice. I know I'm spending all my time on woodworking videos. Oh yeah, you woodworking <laughs> these days? Yeah, yeah I'm building <laughs> shells. Nice. Yeah. That's how you knew about the power tools. Ah, yeah. interesting. Earlier we discussed Wood my hacker. drill off mic. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh yeah, give the people a little taste yeah, of it. Yeah, it was the power. difference between uh a, this is a yeah. Black and Decker uh, lithium uh, mm-hmm. lithium ion battery. Hit him, with the, hit him with the zip zip. Yeah, yeah. Put that near the mic. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good shit. What do you <laughs> use this for? Uh, just whatever you need around the house. I yeah. put together this this desk with it. You know. Yeah, nice. that's a standing desk. That's amazing. it's a standing desk that I got, and then I immediately lost the ability to stand. <laughs> <laughs> I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks, looks like great. Down buttons. And yeah, shit. that's cool. That was dude. God stopping from being a faggot. <laughs> I know it's true. I fucked up. Yeah. And the worst part is I. I literally, I fucked my foot up at the Skank Fest basketball tournament, and before going, I was setting up my desk. I was like, all this shit is halfway done, yeah. and I was like, I'll finish it when I get back from the tournament, yeah. and I just fucked my foot up, and I haven't touched it ever so this since. this is a standing desk, huh? Yeah, it's pretty nice. Nice. Um, but uh, I can't stand, and I haven't done work. I've just gotten depressed as <laughs> shit for the last six weeks. Yeah, we should um, get you out of this house. Maybe like you want to maybe you want to go to Coney Island or something. Can you? Can you? Uh, can we too much wheel you around? Work. Maybe wheel a wheelchair. I could probably do. What about a yeah. car? Can you get in? And you out get a car? Yeah, I can drive. Like I, I drive with my left foot. Mm. It's just like if I go somewhere, it has to be like a. It's like it takes me like a day to recover. No, but why not? Let's take you to um to Tona's in Coney Island. I'd go. I'd go. I'd, I'd love to have a little day out. Adventure. Maybe Friday. You want to do Friday? I don't know. I might be in I DC for. Yeah, I'm going some. down Thursday, but I would be down to do something like this. Yeah, if cool. we could, if we get a, if we get our mitts on a wheelchair, dude, you just wheel me around somewhere outside. I would. Oh, love I can that. get my mitts on a wheelchair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you leave that to me. <laughs> yeah, stop. one might fall off the back of the fucking medical supply truck. Yeah, the box yeah. truck. <laughs> um, we did a bit on on our premium episode, but I feel like I mean we are talking about tools here. Now here's here's a little thing about tools, real quick. So we were talking about this before. So it, I think a drill just a drill has a little bit of power. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then an impact driver uh-huh. is like the little thing. It's like the tiny thing that's like a drill. But uh-huh. What that does is that pushes the thing to the side. It goes like. I know <laughs> the things you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're the smaller. little guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess that's for like driving into stuff. Yeah, but I feel um, like there's big dick drills too that drive. You know what I mean? Like there must be tools are weird because it's like it's such a that grab the you wall. don't think you, you wouldn't think you need so many. I know it's a racket. It's a fucking racket. It's a real. We should get into tools, making tools. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. Black and Decker, Racine yeah. and Halkius are coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> just the shittiest bullshit. <laughs> just just it's screwdrivers we found. Thing. We just scratch the name yeah. off and write it in sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> just stealing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a different shade of orange. Yeah, yeah. But so there's a drill, there's an impact driver which kind of pushes it into that, and then there's a hammer drill for like, oh. and that goes like, doo, 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 like, oh yes, yes, it knocks I've seen the thing well. in, into the concrete. My father was a uh, is a is a woodworker, woodworker right? so I was around all that stuff all my life, but I have no skill, knack, or talent for it at all. It's fucking frustrating. Yeah, yeah. Well, we hope you learned a lot today, folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's just a couple more things I want to get into. Um, so, Bill Donahue. So here's here's the end of his uh, his sort of his. Uh uh, article. He goes, here's what's going on. There are many vicious critics of the Catholic Church who would like to weaken its moral authority and will seize on any problem it has to discredit its voice. Yeah, it's the women, it's the gays, it's all the fucking <laughs> right, communists right, who right, want right, to watch right, the world right, burn right. and they hate order. Yeah. Why? They hate its teachings on sexuality, marriage, and the family. These same, these very same people delight in promoting a libertine culture, one which ironically was the very milieu that enticed some very sick priests and their seminarian supervisors to act out in the first place. Oh, That's I love true. that. 
yeah, those priests were watching uh, girls with Lena Dunham, <laughs> yeah, and they yeah, were yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or some yeah, some young yeah, kids yeah, like, oh, yeah. I bet I could do that in the priesthood. Right, right, right. Um, Which I mean, he's not wrong. You um, watch enough Will and Grace, you're gonna want to fuck a child. If you, <laughs> I, I remember like watching season two of Girls just to uh-huh. see what it was, what everybody was talking about, and I was like, this is why people join ISIS. This fucking like <laughs> depravity, this excess and depravity. Um. Anyway, shout out to my girl Lena Dunn. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Lena. Shout out to just pure nepotism getting you a show. Yeah, just like grow up in the art scene, and then the other Allison Williams, her dad is just Brian Williams, <laughs> just the NBC night like nightly news. Her anchor. dad lies about getting yeah. shot yeah. at yeah. by yeah. Al Qaeda, <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "We want to be on a TV show." <laughs> um, there is nothing wrong with Catholic teaching on this subject. If priests had followed their vows and not their id, we would not have this problem. Those who refuse to use the breaks God gave them, straight or gay, should be shown the gate or never admitted in the first place. Nice, so dude. it's like it's only a few bad apples that are ruining. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. only 150 bad apples yeah, just that are ruining. <laughs> they're ruining the bushel of in 400 one state. apples in one yeah. state, in one country. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But recall yeah. the bad fucking apples. Yeah. How about that? Right. Gosh, um, yeah. Speaking of tools, we did a bit on, on a premium episode, but I think it was pretty good. So we were talking about like sex robots, mm-hmm. and we were saying like, what if there was a home improvement episode where Tim makes Jill a sex robot? Nice. But then it f- it fucks her really well. <laughs> And then it gets so horny that it rapes Al. <laughs> <laughs> and Tim has to kill it. Where no more pussy must settle for a manhole. Must fuck Al's furry little boy pussy. So if you <laughs> it's a pretty good, pretty good episode, and, guys, <laughs> and if you're not a premium subscriber, that's what you're missing that's out on. Taste. Okay, <laughs> yeah. If you're not giving us money, <laughs> you don't get to hear that. <laughs> you don't get to hear that stuff. We don't have to talk about this crime bullshit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I also it also makes me wonder, like, when you see somebody, we're gonna wrap up in a, in yeah, a few, yeah. but um. When you see somebody like Sam Harris, who's like all anti-Islam, and he's like, well, you know, a lot of people support this behavior, and it's bad, and it's a bad ideology. But, like, there's millions, there's tens of millions, maybe maybe close to, I think there's like 170 million Catholics, which I'm not sure. Yeah. That number se- that seems a little big. Mm-hmm. No, I think, I don't know. But I heard it's something like a, a 170 million people donate, like, an average of $10 a month to the Catholic Church. What? So they're making, like, a... Is that a that's not a billion a I week? I don't fucking is it? know, dude. It's 170 million. 170 times uh, 10? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's 1.7 No, bill. that's too much. That's too much. I think it's 17 million. Anyway, they're making a lot. Of, they're making Good like 9 billion. I mean, it's just dollars. one way they're making money. Yeah. Untaxed. Untaxed. Yeah. You never have to pay taxes, which is yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Churches should definitely pay taxes. Yeah, they the should fuck? definitely pay. T- if yeah. they have like a fucking such a lavish Vatican over there, I know Vatican. that's not look, look at look at Joel Osteen's fucking house. I yeah. know, dude. And the, yeah. the guy, the guy that wouldn't open up the fucking his yeah. mega church. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's cool. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's just, into yeah. it. <laughs> that's just, just got new rugs. That's just a gangster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yo, they flood way out there. <laughs> <laughs> we dry over the here. Floor. Do you know how expensive it is to steam clean all those rugs? <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be coming in here smelling like refugees. And the Lord yeah. said, "Let the broken motherfuckers drown, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. while I get my cock rubbed like, in a hot tub that their tithes <laughs> paid for." <laughs> oh, God damn it! Isn't there like a football Ball stadium or something. <laughs> they can go to. Some I will college. pay. I will pay you to have them fucking flown to the Superdome <laughs> in New Orleans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't they just hang out in a Target or something? <laughs> uh, which I, would be pretty sweet, actually. Um, yeah, but uh, but it's just somebody like Sam Harris, who's like all anti-Islam, has he said anything about this? Because um, it seems like there's b- everyone follows a bad ideology. There's right. bad ideologies everywhere, right, right. everywhere you fucking go. Yeah, the so Catholic just- Church definitely leads all religions in child rape. Yeah. yeah, even though yeah, even though I feel like there is part like they apparently just, in the Middle well, okay, East, like, in child. Ra- well, I don't know. But what if, I, they just pass think? Scientology. Well, I mean, I guess book. you can't. In other cultures, you get married to children, which is yeah, even but, worse, but, I guess. Yeah, but the religion who who is the leader in um not returning your phone call when you have a plumbing problem. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so everybody yeah. has their thing. Um, yeah. yeah, I see. That's the thing. Jews get probably the most... Hollywood Jews get the most, uh, like, kid-fucking, you know, media recently, but... 
Mm-hmm. It doesn't even fucking hold a candle to what the Catholic the numbers the Catholic Church yeah, is putting up. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. And although I well, guess like you could argue that like in the middle like Muslims aren't exactly treating little girls well, you know, by like letting them get married or whatever to. Well, they're only throwing age. acid on their faces so that they don't marry someone else. <laughs> right, 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 right. They're right. supposed to be. I mean, all religions um, are pretty bad. I think yeah. is the. I guess I don't fucking know. Yeah, but like what I you want to be a fucking stupid. you want to be a fucking smug atheist like, uh, you know. Yeah, kind. I mean, I'm not smug. I just am stupid. Yeah, like that. That is the thing where I definitely was in college. One of those guys. It's like, you know, a smug like like oh, it's fuck. But because I think like, you're I young, you're fuck. like, there's no god. And you feel like yeah, you figured you feel out so, the world. You f- yeah, you feel, you feel so, so much so smarter than everyone. Than everybody, yeah. But now I am sort of back to being like, I don't fucking know. You know, now I'm back to like, uh, what the fuck was I saying? Mm-hmm. I Mike's phone's going off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm, like I'm looking for. A clip, I'm loading a clip. Oh no, no. I, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah. It was probably a dumb point. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, but no, no. I just don't fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Now I'm back to just being like, yeah, I don't fucking know, but I don't give a fuck either. <laughs> About you know, I just hope I don't go to hell if it's real. Mm-hmm. But I think we probably just die. But I don't fucking know. Yeah, I think all I know is I haven't too. raped any children. Yeah. I think there is a need for some kind of spirituality. There's a need for like you want something better than you, which is why Italians, you know, love Jesus and right, stuff right, like right. like you like in an ideal world, you would have like a mentor or a dad or a god or somebody to sort of like guide you through life because we don't know. Yeah, and then you don't want to be some fucking commie who you know ha- there's no rules and no hierarchy. Right, right, right. You know. Yeah, I don't know. I still don't know what I believe or anything, and I'm a 30 year old man about like, to be. So the most appealing thing about religion to me is like it's a it's like a weekly meditation where it's like forced, like working out almost, where you're like, oh, I don't want to go to this shit, but like if you go and just like sit still and be mindful somewhere, it's just nice to like. Yeah, I mean, I guess a group of people that comes out and thinks about you know how they could be better and who, yeah. you know do it. in theory, if if church was like what it's supposed to be and like helps people, and right? Like, you know, but like you like mean to. Gay guys, and like, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, they started asking for your money, and you're like, "Whoa, <laughs> yeah." Or it's like, "Look, I'll pay a little bit to keep the lights on." Yeah. But then, yeah. but that's the thing. That's people think that is what religion no, but, started. That's yeah. not it at all. It really was like mm. people consolidating power and shit. And like right, it was right. ruthless and right. shit like that. Like, right. there's no like that. Also, the Catholic Church has paid out like three billion dollars in settlements to right, people. Right, right. So yeah. it's like when you put oh. ten dollars in the basket, like it's going towards yeah, paying yeah, yeah, off yeah, a family. Yeah, 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 like yeah, some yeah. lawyer, they have lawyers yeah. out there fighting to like keep the statute of limitations on this off. <laughs> right, right, yeah. right, 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 like right, they, right, right. Like they're actually against these fucking victims. They're they don't want the justice. They yeah. don't want yeah the truth to come out. Someone's <laughs> got to pay for Bill Donahue's pool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> small um, donation. It's like the Bernie Sanders, small donations, right? Fuels a big movement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big movement. All right. So, uh, one thing before we go, we talk about Sopranos a lot on the show, and I f- I saw a clip recently that is like very, um, I thought it was very Sopranos esque because what I love about Sopranos is like you have these conflicts and they're like between like fundamentally horrible people. Yeah. But sometimes you root for different people because there's they have the, every everybody on the show has has their moments. Of course, you know? there's something sympathetic about all these incredible sociopaths. Yeah. Like every single one of them. Like. And, and they, they all they all yeah. get hurt. Yep. You know, like they're all pieces of shit, but they all like you, they're all you vulnerable ad- different parts. You admire them at some Yeah. Yeah. Um I, I always think of that scene with Patsy where he gets into it with Christopher. Christopher is like bossing him around. And then uh the guy's like uh the guy's like, Hey, what's going on here? He's like, Mind your fucking business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh some guy yelled at me today to pick up after my dog. Uh-huh. I was going to go get a bag. I didn't have a bag. Right. And I, I, I was I was like, mind your fucking I almost fought him. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> I feel like yeah. you've definitely played this clip on the show before. No, I have not playing that clip. Oh, okay. But I, I definitely have yes, multiple times. <laughs> uh, I was like worried. I was like, oh listen. We're all, gonna all, watch Mike. Is that the one where Patsy catches feelings again because they killed his brother or whatever? Um well he yeah, he's like going yeah. through that, but he gets into it with Christopher. That's when Christopher pulls a gun at him and he pulls a gun on him and he picks up a pipe. Right. He's like, right, Come on, right. you fucking tough guy. <laughs> and at that moment you're like, Yeah, nice. And then and then immediately after he goes and hits the guy in the head with <laughs> right, the pipe, right, he's right. calling the cops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um yeah, yeah and the then other, like oh man. And then you think of like Johnny Sack um, 
when he's when he's defending his wife. You know, he's right. like, I'm talking about my wife's on here. Right, and right, it's like right. everyone else just wants to make money, and he's <laughs> like, No, we gotta kill him because yeah. he insulted my wife, <laughs> right, right, my right. 400 pound wife. Right, right, right. And you're like, Yeah, that's right. <laughs> my favorite. Um, I'm sorry, real quick. My favorite moment of that where you're like you're rooting for them, and then you realize they're just sociopaths is when uh, Christopher and Paulie are in that set episode where they are kind of like. Button heads where Christopher has just been made, yeah, and Paul is kind of like hazing him too much, yeah, yeah, and so they like. I think I know what scene you're thinking of, and it, this that scene was like too much for me. That, yeah. that really fucking bugged for me. real. That one, yeah. that one fucks. That's the scene that stuck with me the most out of anything. And I never for the rest of the show, I was like, I hate these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They they so they get in an <laughs> argument, and then some they kill some waiters. Like they don't tip yeah. because that's right, Christopher. Because yeah. Paulie makes Christopher pay hey, the, the yeah. whole thing. Yeah. So Christopher takes it out on the waiter. Have any like, money. Hey, what the fuck? This yeah. was a five hundred, you know, a thousand dollar tab, <laughs> yeah. and you left me ten dollars. <laughs> yeah. And then Christopher kills him. <laughs> yeah. And then they bond over. Uh, they're like, they're yeah. about to fight, but he comes out and they kill him. Yeah. And then they're like, oh my god, we could have really gotten hurt. Yeah, Something yeah. bad could have happened. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> and then they bond over. Yeah, yeah. And then they like, like, because oh, they throw because they throw a rock at him and he has a seizure. They're like, what do we do? And they right. just Paulie just shoots him. <laughs> right. Yeah, I forgot that's how it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my fucking god! And then they're like, "Yeah, that was the worst moment in the whole series." (laughs) They just kill a completely innocent waiter. Completely innocent. Yeah, who probably never says anything. He's like, "You know what? I gotta stick up for myself just this time." Yeah, (laughs) just this one. Oh fuck! And and he he even says, "He goes, I got kids to feed. You think this job is easy?" Right, right, right. That that moment was a little, almost a little over the top. Yeah. So here's um here's a great here's a fucking great clip of um Owen Benjamin, right? Mm -hmm. Who we all know is like a fucking piece of shit yeah. he says the n-word um but now like the guys from the intellectual dark web are like turning on him because they're oh, like really we can't, yeah they're like we can't be associated that's with that's hilarious to yeah. be not good enough for those guys <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> yeah you're, too, you're too, a little too much yeah. yeah 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 um but but those guys are a bunch of kind of phonies anyway y- yeah. you know like but anyway so so like so this is a great this is this clip to me is very like Sopranos ass because you can feel you almost like I don't want to say feel for him but you see his hurt and it's really funny the way that um, he's sort of like giving it to these guys in the intellectual dark web uh-huh. who he feels like betrayed him right 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 so let me let me show you this clip and I want to show you the video and I'll just stop it um, when it's done there all right so can you Matt can you make yeah, a note you could have, yeah yeah yeah. I, I was like, he's making a choice. Oh, no, I didn't know that I had headphones. Oh, <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some people don't my like bad. them. My yeah, bad. I love headphones. So can you just make a note of where this is? Because I'm going to play the clip and a little. of course, like all conservatives, it comes out of his own uh, sense of being aggrieved. Keeping a list of the people that, that when you're down, they take shots, they take little shots. And when Eric, fuck, fuck Eric Weinstein, man. <laughs> when I lost my Twitter is when he told me I was bad for his brand and that we weren't <laughs> gonna be close friends anymore and I was filled with too much chaos. Oh, you think maybe it's because I don't have 126,000 followers that can help spread your shit? Is, is that maybe not part of it? Or, or you got a little, a chill, a little shiver that if you speak your mind that the fucking, the powerful people in Silicon Valley can take it all from me and that made you a little scared. Made you rethink your friendships. I Which love that in his in his head, he's like this free thinker. <laughs> right, that, like, right, right. The oppressive, uh, yeah. What is it? Which fucking one is it? Because I know it's not chaos. Because you're friends with J- Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's the most chaotic person I've ever met. Granted, he's very disciplined. But he'll, have, he'll be like, oh, dude, today it's all about freezing your dick and shooting a bow and arrow and taking mushrooms, doing comedy, and then shooting guns. Like, okay, so that isn't chaotic? Oh, wait a minute. It's about... It's about money and power, huh? And not about ethics, and not about doing the right thing or any of this shit. But I'm the bad guy, right? I'm the fucking bad guy. You bunch of coward fucks. <laughs> intellectual dark web. More like intellectual fag web. <laughs> oh, don't say that word. I mean, listen. Holy listen, we're shit. here for free speech, and we're here wow, for free dude. expression, but not these words and not this statement. And if you do this, we won't hang out with you. Oh, and never make fun of Sam Harris, because he's our atheist Jesus. Sam Harris is their leader, by the way. Jesus Just know Christ. that. He's the guy that they all get scared of. Sam fucking Big Ears Harris. His mom invented Golden Girls. He's a rich kid from L.A. He was born with a silver spoon in his dick hole. Golden Girls. You know how much money that is? You know how much money he was raised with? That's why he could sit for 20 days in a goddamn 
uh, no talking retreat in the woods. You want to know why? Because the fucker has a trust fund. Damn. I'm thank you. Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that motherfucker's totally fucked, huh? Um. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I yeah. Fuck know. him. I don't fuck give a fuck. It's about yeah. the N word, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Get a couple. <laughs> Yeah, pretty, uh, yeah, that's the that's the word you can't uh, say. I mean, I mean, unless you're a premium, <laughs> unless you're yeah. a Patreon subscriber, <laughs> yes. Say whatever you want if you give <laughs> us money. That's why we that's why we put in Nazi pricing to punish them fi- fiduciarily. <laughs> there right. you go. Um, damn. Hmm. Well, fuck Owen Benjamin, uh, fuck the Catholic Church, I guess. Anybody else? Yeah, yeah well, same. we're going to do another episode about this where we read a little more. But that, but but I think this was a good, uh, you know, a little wet, introductory, wet, wet in your beak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wet, yeah, wet was a good app. We had some nice yeah. riffs on here. We had, yeah, we had, some, good, we had <laughs> some good riffs. <laughs> yeah. Chinese trailer park. <laughs> yeah. yeah, come on. <laughs> Guys, you got that for free. Okay? <laughs> do you want to go out on, you uh, that for free. So please, on this um, Wayne's World clip you asked me to load, like four minutes ago. Yeah, to, yeah, load that. I also want to say thank you for everybody. Some people volunteered to help Deb paint her classroom. That's cool. That's great. But we're like not allowed to because uh, they, they said it. They said painting the room was a health hazard. Because everyone that volunteered was a sex offender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah I'll fish. do it. Uh, now, were we going to be supervised the whole time? Is it going to be a pair of rides? Where are the kids going to be? Because <laughs> yeah. I got paint rollers, let me tell you that. Maybe some oh, of the kids could come over to my place. Please help me carry this stuff to the school. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway. But, yeah, let me um, get the stutterers, the ones that can't get the words out right. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me fix it. <laughs> yeah. Well, another episode where we joked about molesting children. <laughs> uh, are you going to need dates you want to plug? I don't know. If um, maybe. I, uh, we got a Come Town Live coming up in Cleveland and Boston on September 2nd and 3rd. I'll be in Fairfield, Connecticut at the Fairfield Comedy Club on, the, I believe, the 7th, Friday in September. Um, and then just oh, a, yeah, it's a fun, bunch of shit, uh, it's bunch a of shit coming up. Uh, I think I'm in New Orleans the 14th and the 15th. I'm in Chicago the 21st and 22nd. So, yeah, come out and see me. Stavi.biz. S-T-A-V-V-Y Hell dot yeah. biz. Awesome. It's my website. website. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, thank you to our uh, Patreon subscribers. Uh, we don't have ads, everybody, because mm-hmm. uh, Matt doesn't know how to email <laughs> people. Um, so we don't have ads, so we appreciate your, uh, you know, your financial support. And uh, if you want to be a Patreon subscriber, go to patreon.com slash sitdownpod. Also, if you only want to do it for a month or two, it's really easy to just cancel. People cancel their subscriptions all the time, <laughs> and uh, we have no hard feelings if, uh, you know, things get tight or whatever but you know five bucks you get an extra an extra episode okay so cancel that red scare uh patreon and come <laughs> over to us baby <laughs> dasha has enough money all right folks um nice place i'm trying to buy what's the next power tool i'm gonna get i don't know i think i'll be okay for now yeah nick has that chop saw that i can maybe borrow yeah so. probably and then uh i got a fucking sander off a guy from let go That's for nice. like 10 bucks but the pad falls off the thing oh, can't no. you just but can't yeah, you just like glue bullshit. that on? But then when the sander gets dull, how do you get it off? Wait, the pa- aren't all all the, uh, anyway. you put a little thing on it and you with a little tool. All right, we gave you guys yeah. enough time. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, but uh please email us sitdownpod at gmail dot com. Uh we're not like Sam Harris where we do all that housekeeping in the front, you know? <laughs> Yeah, uh, cuz we're not a we're not whores. <laughs> but email us sitdownpod@gmail.com, follow us Facebook, Instagram at @sitdownpod yeah. and uh Rate here's, us on iTunes. Here is uh comedic genius Mike Myers <laughs> kicking a Chinese man in the balls. <laughs> Bye-bye everybody. <laughs>